Hey there, I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you see this. I am here to bring you another video, and this one I wanted to tackle the concept of bands who change their style for the worse. This could be taking their style in a direction that completely goes against the original genre that they were trying to tackle in the first place, and instead of it building and maturing their style, it just ended up flatlining or inversely making the fan base feel a little meh about them. But as always, I want to know what your guys' opinions are of this. What would be your picks for the bands that have changed their style for the worse, either for one album or for like a huge part of their discography? These are going to be some hot takes, I feel like, but the first one I'm going to say is Veil of Maya. I have been a staunch advocate for Veil of Maya's deathcore era. I think that Eclipse is about as perfect of like a gent-infused deathcore record as you could possibly get. And from a production standpoint, from a vocal department, I just thought that they were one of the more unique and original bands to have that specific style of deathcore and I have kind of been a critic of False Idol and Matriarch and stuff because I just think that they kind of took their style that was pretty distinct and transferred it into something that just feels like progressive metalcore 101. It feels very rudimentary and it doesn't feel like they've played to their strengths and I also think that they've kind of went in the direction of overproducing their material not necessarily to the point of feeling like it's super engineered or mechanical or like inhuman or or anything but I do think at times it can feel a little bit hollow and lifeless where it's clear they're trying to go for the really big budget sound but it's just not really working out in their favor this is something I could be in the minority on I know a lot of people really dig Veil of Maya's metalcore era so it may just be a me thing. Another hot take of mine that I don't know if it'll be a hot take or not is Opeth. I remember when Sorceress came out and I fucking hated that shit. Opeth have always been known as this like genre bending hybrid band that never really stuck to one specific style, always kept the listener engaged and guessing and staying so unpredictable with what influence they were going to lace into their music. But I just think with age, and once again, this is just my opinion, don't take it as the gospel. And if you enjoy it, that's fine. I just think modern and Opeth in comparison to their early years are so fucking boring in comparison. It feels like they have just gotten into this rhythmic pattern of making very dime a dozen progressive rock and progressive metal music that a lot of other bands in the territory have done better. I think that they're overly ambitious with their song links and they don't have the substance to back it up much of the time. And the reasons that I adored Opeth when I first got into them just did not carry over into more of their recent output. Similarly to Veil of Maya, I want to say Born of Osiris. And this hurts my soul because I really do like Soul Sphere and Tomorrow We Die Alive. Don't get me wrong. Tomorrow We Die Alive was actually the very first album that I ever heard from them. And I do have sort of like a soft spot in my heart for Soul Sphere and Tomorrow We Die Alive because the nostalgia factor. But once I listened to their prior material, like the Discovery and shit, it was pretty obvious that they definitely took a step down. And similarly to Veil of Maya started playing a little bit more typical progressive metalcore music. It didn't feel nearly as like genre genre defining and boundary pushing as a record like the discovery did but that is a magnum opus so it may not be right to judge them by that but they never really made an attempt to go back to that and the fan base kind of takes whatever they can get if something vaguely resembles deathcore they're like born of osiris is back like i remember when disconnected me off of like i believe that's the name off of the simulation happened and people were like oh my god there's blast beats again guys born of osiris is back but in reality not particularly. Angel or Alien is pretty good though. I will say there are some great songs on that and I've had the privilege of seeing them live not once but twice in their new era so I can say that live they do kind of kill it but there is something a little lifeless compared to what they used to do and I think everything that I said about Veil vale of Maya about like their deathcore era being better about their production being better about everything about their ambition being better I think I could say the same for Born of Osiris and they're one of my favorite bands so it's coming from a place of love. I'll still fucking like Bob any new Born of Osiris album, so take it with a grain of salt. Lou Divinum Insanus. Three words that can trigger any death metal fan. Morbid Angel is such an interesting, like, take from this list because honestly, like, compared to these other bands that changed their style and then kept that style, Morbid Angel backed the fuck out of that as soon as they realized what they did. What the hell is this thing? Morbid Angel decided they wanted to be, like, a generic industrial metal band. And honestly, it's not too uncommon for an extreme metal band to do a different direction. I mean, look at, say, Napalm Death. They're a grindcore band, but they have done 
done death metal albums. So Morbid Angel going into industrial metal would not have been on my bingo sheet, but this thing is a crock of shit. Production wise, it is the equivalent of like Say Anger from Metallica, which could technically also be here, but at least they were still playing their music and their hallmark. This record is infamous for good reason. And if you have managed to dodge it, go check it out. Especially if you're a fan of like Morbid Angel, you'll have a good time. That's all I'm gonna say. Another one that really hurts my soul because this is another band I really love, Architects. I just think that their new material sounds like it just lacks a fucking soul. Things like All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us and Holy Hell were genre defining. Every single band wanted to be at the level of Architects. And similarly to how like Knock Loose is so heavy and yet they're still building up this repertoire and resume of so many fans and out their outreach just being massive, Architects was in a similar ballpark. They were humongous. They were a household name for metal and everyone adored them. Even people that didn't particularly like metal core were getting into them and even if you didn't like architects you could acknowledge their talent levels but their modern stuff not even necessarily from like a production department it, it just feels so restrained and sam carter is holding himself back so badly vocally and even so many architects fans are not really fucking with this era you know a lot of times there will be like defenders and white knights for a band that will be like they're maturing they're getting better and it's like i don't necessarily see that much with architects i more so see people being like damn I guess the golden era really is gone next up suicide silence and yeah I could sit here and rack on <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that instead I'm just gonna say it's a steaming pile of shit the new metal era I don't know what the fuck they were thinking I really don't know Eddie's a fine vocalist but good lord that record just missed the mark in every sense of the word I'm not even just talking about that even recent suicide silence I think just feel like a generic deathcore band they lack a lot of the pizzazz that Mitch had and the band had at the time like it's not just mutually exclusive to oh Mitch Lucker is gone and so they're not good anymore plenty of bands have come back with new vocalists after a member has left or has tragically died so I don't really see any excuse for Suicide Silence trying to do fan service and even failing at that and the next band I'm gonna mention is one that I think probably everyone watching this thought of going into this video or has thought of asking Alexandria it's self-explanatory a dead horse has been beat down to the ground I am a pretty big defender of their self-titled album and I even like a lot of the softer cuts off of from death to destiny so it has nothing to do with oh they're not heavy anymore they're not metalcore I don't expect them to write material like the final episode anymore like they were young they had that youthful exuberance they were immature and that was the grace of that album and that is what made that album stand up and scream what it was and reckless and relentless what it was they obviously matured on from death to destiny and went a little bit softer on a lot of tracks like moving on for example and it was still an amazing album I still really love that album it probably is borderline my favorite asking Alexandria album but with that being said my god it's not that they're writing hard rock and alternative rock and shit it's how bad it is I just don't particularly like Danny Warshnop's vocal delivery like that, that point blank that's pretty much what it comes down to I don't like his twang I don't like the way he approaches his range I think it sounds really phoned in and corny a lot of their butt rock dad rock octane core riffs just leave so much to be desired they're not doing anything cool instrumentally or visually or production wise and the lyrics are the most generic anti-societal things you'll ever hear in your life there is no life to them there is no flavor to them there's no relatability to them and it is clear that they're just trying to resonate with a bigger audience and make these bangers for big stadiums but it's not just sacrificing their old fan base it's sacrificing their longevity because while people are enjoying their music for the time being there's gonna come a point where that intrigue wears off and people stop giving a shit if they continue to make basic material and it seems like with every passing album they just get more and more generic and phoned in and corny and just over the top trying to appeal and I just I don't know it just makes me upset like good on them I can't blame them for trying to you know get bigger and that sort of thing but it's just not my cup of tea personally and it's why I've kind of strayed away from talking about asking Alexandra in recent memory because I don't really have that much nice to say or much constructive stuff to say because it's pretty surface level for a lot of people and even the people that like adore their music in the modern era can acknowledge and admit the fact that it's kind of just mindless hard rock so do with that what you will but what are your opinions of this list do you agree do you disagree there is no wrong answer you can let me know down in the comment section below I can't wait to discuss it with you guys be sure to like this
this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads you know it is my name is jay morris and i'm signing off saying farewell